Welcome back to Voice of the Rings. I'm your host, Zolan Ironshield. We are on episode two, you guys. Here we go. Episode two. All right. So, our what just happened in a previous episode of our real recap, if you just joined us, 70 years has gone by since Thorin left to go retake the mountain, right? So we're back. Something has happened. Tribute has stopped coming from Thorin's Hall to the Lonely Mountains. So they've sent Dwalin and me and a couple other dwarves back to Thorin's Hall in the Blue Mountains to discover what is happening. That's where we are. All right, here we are. All right, Nos Grimsaw. <coughs> Need a little drink here. All right. I have come to offer my service to this party. I have come to offer my service to this party. Here we are, as Dwalin bid, standing amongst this party of elves who arrived when we did. But now, what? Who should we talk to? That fellow over there, the dark-haired one, looks to be the leader of this company. Dwalin sent us to find out why they are here, the elves, and if we may be of any assistance to them. You are the more courteous dwarf, Zolan. Go on, speak to that fellow. Do you think he speaks the common tongue? Right, common tongue, dwarven, and the common tongue, which is kind of like English, right? All right, look, I got a robe, guys. Sweet. If I get this question, I get a free robe from this guy. Sweet. Introduction. Elrond's Arand. 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 Sorry. Alrighty. Let's see, where are we, uh, who are we talking to? Okay, okay, all right, here, we're talking to this guy. Be on your guard, dwarf. Goblins may lay not far from these walls. Oh, it's, uh, Elodin. We all know who Elodin is, right? It is interesting that the dwarves arrived when we did. It is... we came for different purposes. It is interesting when the dwarves arrived when we did. Hail, friend dwarf. I was not aware that Dwalin, a former guest of my father's, had come hither as well. Perhaps our two quests are not unrelated. I and my brother Elro here have come to investigate a dream my father had. Evil stirs, or it will if we are too late. You have been to this area more recently than we. It may have been many long years since last these elves were in Elendilion, their ruined home of old. Perhaps you can help us with your knowledge of these halls. I can do my best. I am supposed to select reward. I get a tattered dwarven cloth short robe, guys. Woohoo! Might you spare a moment of your time? Yeah, I leveled up. I'm level two. My father level is two, great guys. among the wise, and his dreams and foretellings do not often stray from the mark. My father is great among the wise. Did his voice change in the actual voice actor? <laughs> from the wise, and his dreams and foretellings do not often stray from the mark. These are the words he imparted to me. Blood-red footsteps upon snow-colored black, their dour king walks, the dour king walks to take back his throne and finish what was begun. I am no riddle master, but some of the elves of my company have skill in solving such things. Come. Let us speak with the riddle master, Marathon, and Doralas, for Doralas bade us come here. Hopefully, they know where to start looking. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to seek them out. All right. All right, our next quest is to go over here. I think my dwarf needs a smoke. I don't endorse smoking, everyone, but it is fun to have a fake pipe. Yeah, I do. I've never smoked my whole life. Asthma. No, thank you. All right. But anyway, look at we can see Zolan just taking a nice little break. His impervious lungs, the smoke. All right, off we go. All right, it's Marathana. See, her, get her voice. Here we go. <coughs> I did that little voice last. Make of Onan. What do you make of this riddle? Make of Onan. What do you make of this riddle? Megavonin, I am here to help solve the riddle that is Elrond's dream. Look yonder, Zolan. 
Thorin's Hall belches smoke and soot, and the white snow of the mountain is black ere it touches the floor of the valley. Upon snow-colored black, what do you think? It is rather literal for a riddle. I don't know. Let's see. Hmm. Look over there. Rather notes that the snow in the valley below is black from soot, and is literally the black snow in Elrond's dream. Interesting. All right, let's see what this guy got to say over here. I was the one who led the party here, but there is a slight flaw in my thinking. I was the one that led the party here, but there is a slight flaw in my thinking. Uh, I believe that our king is none other than Skorgrim, king of the Daurhans of old, but there is only one problem with my logic. Skorgrim has been dead for many long years. He died here when he tried to raid Elethilion for elven relics that he believed would ensnare his immortality. I hope I have not led the party astray, but my heart tells me Skorgrim is part of this story. Uh-oh. Dalaras believes that Skorgrim is the Dar King in Elrond's dream. All right, let's, we're going back to Elodin. Do, 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 do. Look at that view, it's so cool. I love this game. Why did Dolorous lead us here? Skorgrim is dead. Why did Dolorous lead us here? Skorgrim is dead. I'm going to occasionally copy him because then it helps me get the voice. Dolorous led us here because he believes Skorgrim is dead. Is Daurhan king in my father's dream? Had I known, I would have never had let this party be led here. Skorgrim is dead. My father watched him die. But Marathon believe. Marathon believes she found, has found a piece of the puzzle, the black snow. Dirtied from the Daurhans, slo uh, slovenly stewardship of these halls. Sorry. I will permit the investigation to continue, but I am very skeptical that disappointed in Doralis' judgment. Whether Doralis was right or wrong in leading us here, my heart warns me that the dagger is near, is often the case with the wide world of late. Before letting getting started, everyone should be prepared. You are a minstrel, as I can see plainly, but you have, have you mastered your skills? I fear that you will be tested as a warrior in these harsh mountains. You should speak with the trainer to make sure you are ready for what lies ahead. All right, let's do it. Sounds good. Trainer, trainer, trainer. Do, 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 do. Hello there. May Govanen. May Govanen. Might you spare a moment of your time? Might you spare a moment of your time? A good day to you. I am pleased to find another minstrel has accompanied us. I would be happy to share what skills I have with you. For though I will give you some small advice. If you are willing to lend an ear to it, as you may already know, a minstrel possesses a great power, the power to stir the spirit and raise hopes within all seems lost. When the spirit is roused, the body soon follows. A good minstrel heals themselves and their fellows, starving, staving off even the most dire wounds. Demonstrate your mastery by entering combat with the training dummy nearby. <laughs> then use the skill Major Ballad. <laughs> okay, that's just a little funny because they're like trying to train. Okay, sorry. All right, moving on. Uh, training dummies. All right, here we go. I'm supposed to use Major Ballad. There it is, that one. Wah. Ha ha, you have used the skill Major Ballad. Well, that is within combat. All right, yes. Okay, duh. That's super easy. All right, moving on. Sweelide Melon. Sweelide Melon. Good. I think you will be an excellent minstrel someday. You should return now to Elodin. I believe he wishes to begin the investigation. Uh, so I get a free, I get a, I get a new loot. All right, sweet, let's do it. Do, 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 do. So I got a new loot. I got, look at this. Oh yeah, look at that. I got a new clothes. Boom, and uh, better dagger. Sweet. We'll open these boxes. I'll open them some other time. Be on your guard, dwarf. Goblins lay not far beyond these walls. You have yeah, you a true warrior's heart. You have a true warrior's heart. You have a great warrior's heart. Learning le <laughs> learning, <laughs> learning, the ways of a minstrel throughout your life is not an easy feat. 
but it is rewarding. Alright, level three, guys! Woohoo! I will give you Dolores. Dolores, I'm sorry if I sh just butcher some of these names. I'll do my best. Dolores' theory, a chance. Since we are here, Marathana. <laughs> Marathon is not an unconvinced either. We should investigate the ruins of Elidillion, the place where Skorgrim fell, to ensure that he is still dead. The elves watched him die, so if Skorgrim's grave is undisturbed, then the mystery will be even greater. That is a true thing. Alright, oh, we're gonna do some traveling. Now, I actually believe. We'll go ahead and walk. Well, actually, um, I might have a horse because I think I start with the riding skill. So I, I get all these things, by the way, and then you see in the inventory here, I have all these because um, these are all like expansions and bonus things I had. And because what level year I am, I've been playing and they give you gifts for each year and stuff. And every time you make a character, you get them all again because I have all these expansions that were like pre-order and all this stuff. So that's why I've got all these things. And I have things that will actually give me level boosts too. But I'm not sure I want to use them because we're trying to enjoy and level as we go, right? And do the stories. So I don't want to go like... Just blow past things. We're doing storylines. We might even be doing quests that are under our level because we want to enjoy the world and the lore, right? That's that's why we're here for this series. This game is so pretty, though. I mean, look at this. I'll try to sometimes just stop so we can just see really pretty things going on. Look at that. I like going in the head because it gives a good visual. I can even do this. Oh, wait. Nope, wrong one. I can do that. Then you can see everything without the overlays. Oh, look, an old elven ruin. Now entering refuge of El Ed Helion. I do not think I have the will to go back into that place. I do not think I have the will to go back into that place. I am lucky to be alive uh, after the injuries I bore the day El Ed Helion fell. I, I do not think I have the will to go back into that place. Oh. It is only a shadow of its former glory. Now only pain remains. Dor Dornelia was gravely hurt when Ed Helion uh, was attacked, and many others died. So that was back when they uh, they had a little bit of a Scorgrim was evil when they had to kill him, and he was an ancient ancestor of the Dowerhead, who were supposed to be stewards when Thorin left at to go take the Lonely Mountain with Bilbo. Seven years ago, but they kind of didn't do so nice. So that's why we're here. I was here when I was here Helion fell. When Helion fell, I was a healer, but my strength in mending was not enough to mend the hurts cursed caused by Scorgrim and his Dowerhand warriors. I cannot return here without grave sadness in my heart. It was such a needless war. He sought immortality in the relics we kept here, but found only death. Nathalie recalls that the Dwarf Lord Skogrim thought immortality, but died instead. I hope. What we got here? Who's this? The memories I carry of this place are at last a difficult burden to bear. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? It was across this bridge that I brave Talgala brought the library's walls down upon Skorgrim, and himself thus putting an end to Skorgrim's lust for immortality. The walls smote them both as they crumbled. But that is a strange follow flower, one that I have never seen before. Is it familiar to you, dwarf? I don't know. Will, will you lend me your ear? Will you lend me your ear? You are the dwarf that discovered Skorgrim's body some years ago, are you not? Seventy years ago, guys. Seventy. Some years to an elf. But seventy is a lot. <laughs> to us. It was ruined a cellar of Elidilian's library that you came upon, which Skorgrim Dorhan fell to his doom after attacking my fair city. This guy must have been like the leader of the city. The mine is just down the mountainside. From here, you should perhaps continue your search where it started, and see if the body lies preserved there. Still, for my part, I have no wish to look upon Skorgrim again. Alright, let's do it. 
Gotta go back to the bottom of the mines. I can't go, I don't think I can go through that door. I always remember that was a pain in the butt on this. You'd like rock all the way around. Look at that, I'll kind of, we'll give visuals of things while I walk around. Beautiful. I love the music. It's just, just great music, this game. A little nostalgia, obviously, for me, because I've been playing this since I was 12 years old. So, like, that has a little nostalgia, but I, I don't think that's the case. I think it's just really good music. So funny, a little interesting fact. There's some more good music. Listen to that. Pretty awesome. Little fun fact. I actually got to interview for an hour in person the, um, the composer, Chance Thomas, for the, all this music. So... It was super fun. <laughs> the professor even like was like, "All right, you have a you have a speech to go to," and he was like, "Oh oh oh yeah," because we were having so much fun. And he even signed my original copy of the music of this game. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. He's he's an, he's an awesome guy. All right, into the mine, into the silver deep, the silver deep. We're in the mines. All right, defeat pests as you seek Squawkrum's body. Oh. Oh well. We'll help this person. We got it. We got another person playing. This is actually another player. Hello there, Torvindheim. Someone's power farming. <laughs> Problem is, I need to actually kill these guys. Here we go. There's a lot of them. I can't wait till I get some AOE skills, which means area effect, and then we can just like blow through things like this. Um, also, uh, when, when there are quests that are like killing, like go out and kill all these things, we occasionally might skip that kind of stuff, just because I don't want the, the, the episodes to become monotonous. I want it to be fun storyline. Doing the main point of this series is voices, right? Like, I might be trying to do voices, we're trying to have fun with the story and the lore, and seeing the pretty stuff. So, we'll see. If people want uh, episodes that are like, you know, her teaching about the game and stuff, because I do have thousands of hours in this game, like, and how to play, and what's the best equipment, and all that kind of stuff, I can make episodes of that, just let me know, just put it in the comments. But, I mainly, this series is going to be morally focusing on the fun, and the lore, and be doing voices. Skolgrim's body is gone, but the same strange flower is found in Elidilhine's grows at the site of his long grave. By the way, we're in the bottom of the library, right? So, up there is like the city. Oh, well, look. The petals of this evil looking flower are blood red. Red flowers. The flowers are deathly looking to him. Alright. Bring the auras to Eladan. Oh wow, they're just gonna make me run all the way back, huh? Is that what's going on right now? <sighs> Alright, well, well, what would we do when we run? Let's see, uh... We could sing a song! Just sit right back and you hear a tailor, tailor. That's not a very dwarf song. I mean, it kind of sounds like a shanty, but... I wonder how many of you guys would know what that's from. Gilligan's Isle? I only know that from reruns because my mom loved that series. All right. Well, we are gonna get back to Eladin right now. We're gonna enjoy some pretty views. I'm gonna run back up these stairs. I'll try to give us views while I run. Though when you're running, it's kind of difficult sometimes to have views because I have to aim the character. But there are uh, two dimensions to moving in this game. You got the W A S D keys to do your movements, and then you have your camera to actually adjust the direction of where you think with the mouse so you get good at that in this game it's no big deal and i can kind of try to keep people from feeling sick when i'm walking around because that can be a hard thing if someone's just flipping around the screen all over the place all right we will finish our episode two here with what uh Eladin has to say and if people would rather me do a little longer episodes than 20 minutes, I'm going to try to keep them 20 minutes, but if you like, you want longer ones or a different series that are longer, like, let me know. I mean, if I get enough people saying, hey, I want 30 minute episode, or, you know, or <laughs> can you do 45 minutes or something, like, I will do that. But I, I like to keep it into spurts. I mean, I'll do a couple at once, but yeah. Be on your guard. That well, is we're a vile little flower. flower. Is it one vile? I have not seen before. And one I have not seen before. 
You say it grew where Skorgrim died? You were his body lay in death for all these years. Such magic is not common with dwarves. His body has been moved, though. We do not know where. It seems that the flowers follow him in death. Perhaps they will lead us to his grave. I will take a look. Stay a moment. Leading a trail of blood through the snow. A trail, Zolan. Red flowers leading a trail of blood to the snow. What do you think? These are footprints of blood? Blood red footprints upon snow colored black. The Daran King's walk to take back his throne and finish what he has begun. We have black snow that the body of the Daran King has moved, leading the fellow flowers as footprints. Something evil is at work here. And I am sure something evil was at work when he sought our relics for immortality. You must follow him again. My brother is scouting for signs as well. Seek him as you search. Alright, so we're going to go find Eldin and Elru here. Alright. So you guys, I'm going to stop right there for episode 2. Join me again for episode 3. This is Voice of the Rings. And we will have lots of fun. And we will continue to do voices better and better. And hopefully we can do things quick. And I will get a horse so I can move around faster. So you guys aren't waiting. And it will be fun. Thank you so much for joining me. And we're going to go track those red bloody footprints. And find El Elbro here. See you till next time. Zolan out.